Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Président, a whistleblower risked his uh, job by unveiling Beijing's role in our elections. What will happen to my family if I go to prison, he said. This is someone who is responsible for our national security, and he is aware of the consequences of his actions. All this because the Prime Minister did absolutely nothing to stop Beijing interference in the last two elections. It's for national security. Someone is ready to go to prison for the truth. Why has the Prime Minister closed his eyes for so long? The Honourable Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, Mr Speaker, my colleague knows full well that the Prime Minister and our government, on the contrary, took very seriously from the very beginning this very important issue, that is, to strengthen our democratic institutions here in Canada against China's interference and the interference of other countries. This is not a new phenomenon in Canada or in other countries in this world. Mr. Speaker, the good news is that we have implemented measures that have strengthened our democratic institutions, and we will continue to work, including with the, right, the Honourable former Governor-General David Johnson. CSIS stated that the Prime Minister was informed a number of times that there was uh, Beijing interference in our elections. The whistleblower said over the past few months and over the past years, uh, this has become an emergency. Tangible measures have never been tabled and enacted. I've tried to raise the issue directly with my supervisors and those who make decisions in order to send this up the chain of command, but they were incapable of doing so and acting. Why has the Prime Minister ignored these warnings. The Honourable Minister. Mr Speaker, our colleague knows full well that we didn't ignore these warning signs. That's what the former Conservative government did back in the day. They ignored it. We did qu quite the opposite. We implemented a number of measures in order to strengthen democratic institutions, in order to share with parliamentarians what Essential information is required for national security and national safety. We have a committee of independent experts presided by the clerk of the Privy Council that certified that 2019 and 2021 elections were free and democratic. But the good news is that we will continue to do even more to strengthen these measures. The Honourable Member for Trois-Rivières. Mr Speaker, the debate over Chinese interference in our democracy demonstrates the Prime Minister's systematic and historic lack of ethics. He has threatened a confidence, uh, no confidence vote in the media to avoid a committee appearance by his chief of staff, Katie Telford. In other words, he threatened to force an election, nothing less. Rather than have to tell the truth about the information he has long had about Chinese interference. So, Mr. Speaker, what is it that the Prime Minister doesn't want to hear Ms. Telford admit so much so that he is thinking of toppling his own government? The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House. That's wrong. It is our objective to make sure that we have the witnesses necessary to answer questions. We want to make sure that they are available. There are many ministers that have already appeared before the committee. There will be a number of uh, interveners at this committee, and we will make sure that all questions will have someone there for an answer. The Honourable Member for trois